Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ambreen and today I'm so excited to film this video for you guys because I really thought long and hard to figure out what I wanted to include in my two, in my 2019 makeup favourites. Now, I've never done this before, so I had to really criticise everything that I was wearing and really think carefully about why I was wearing it and what I actually loved about it and why I think it was such a staple for me in 2019 and it's still going to be a staple for me going forward into 2020. So I'm so excited to film this. I love talking about makeup. It's just a shame I have no one in my family that is interested in makeup. It's only me. So um, you guys are my friends and I'm sharing my top favourite of 2019. My favourite favourite makeup or the best makeup of 2019 according to me. And I would love to share it with you guys. So if you are ready, let's jump straight into the video. Number one, this is not necessarily makeup. It is an applicator that has been with me for the past year and I have loved it. And I just believe that it is too good to be true. And I just wish that it never ever goes out of stock. So I've raved about these for ages and I'm still yet to do a Home Bargains makeup haul and makeup look using Home Bargains makeup, but it's a sponge. Mine's is a bit filthy right now. But this sponge, which is a complete dupe for the Real Technique sponge, which you probably can get for about five, uh, maybe cheaper than that, maybe three pounds at the cheapest if you have it on sale or like for the three for two sale. But this sponge, which is exactly, I can't believe it. Like every, back in the day, everybody was raving about the Beauty Blender and how amazing that sponge is. But the downside of it was that it was so expensive. Like, I wasn't even prepared to pay that much for a beauty blender and it's still expensive so I was so happy when the Real Technique sponge came out and to be honest I'm happy that cheaper brands are coming out with, with sponges that are just as good so this sponge is from Home Bargains and wait for the price it was £1.69 £1.69p that's like buying a bag of chips and this sponge was £1.69 and I've had it for a couple of months now and it still has got its life left in it and it's just as good in every single way as a real technique sponge you really need to try it it's so soft and it burns your makeup out without absorbing too much product and i just i love it you need to try it and another thing is home bargains has come out with more of these different types of sponges which I, i'm hoping is the same texture as this sponge because it's so soft but they're coming out with more with in different shapes so I'm excited for that so guys if you're near a home bargains please 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 go and have a look I'll leave the actual name of this sponge um, over here because there can be some gimmicky ones but I want you to get this one the second thing is mmm I don't know what to say because I was actually going to make this I was gonna call this the best makeup of 2019 from the drugstore but then I realized there's a lot of products here that are not drugstore prices or they are from the drugstore yeah or they're not from the drugstore but they are still drugstore prices but the next product is I'm rambling again aren't I but you can still get it at a drugstore price if you get the mini it's this the professional by benefit the professional by benefit it's called pro it says pro balm to minimize the appearance of pores now I have an issue with pores in this area the tip of my nose which is so strange um, and sometimes on my chin and I like to smooth out some of this area around my eyebrows because sometimes it just looks a bit dodgy but <laughs> when I apply foundation and this just smooths out any of those pores it fills in those pores so it's not going to actually minimize your pores it's gonna minimize the appearance of those pores so if you guys have pores you really need to try this before i was using the dupe for it which was from maybelline the maybelline baby skin um primer but that only worked sometimes it was such a weird product sometimes it worked worked and sometimes it didn't but yeah honestly i've used this and this is the mini that i got in a set with the hula bronzer for 16 pounds something ridiculous like that and 
I've had this for ages and it's lasted me so long and I believe in this so much to the point that I've actually bought the bigger size. Now I don't know what else and that was probably about £26 which is more on the pricey side but you get a lot. It's huge. Hold on. But this has 22 mils and if this one is, oh I don't know how much this one is. If this one is 7.5 mils and I've had it for this long, this is going to last me ages and you only need the tiniest amount. So I definitely recommend it and to be honest, pore filling primers tend to be quite expensive anyway. So that one's fantastic. I've tried other gimmicky ones like from cheaper brands and they tend to not work for me. That one's worked the best for me. Oh! It might get knocked out of the park with another product, but I'm t still testing it out even more. Right, I've literally got it all here on the list, so I don't forget anything. But the next item, which is product number three, my favourite. I'm going in basically of how I would do my makeup. So, the best next product, again, I'm contradicting myself because I feel like there's another product that I'm testing at the moment, which I feel like is about to knock this one out of the park. But I have raved about this all year in my favourites videos, in my makeup tutorials. This foundation is a bomb.com for a foundation to wear every single day. And it's this, it's the Maybelline Fit Me. How many times am I going to say that? I sound like a broken record. But you guys can say it with me as well. It's the Maybelline Fit Me foundation. But in America... It seems to be in a pump bottle like a glass bottle whereas this is a squeezy tube which I kind of prefer more because then you can control how much product you take out yourself. I have it in the shade 220 which to me is my perfect shade and it's the shade that I'm wearing right now um, and it's just a fantastic every single day foundation. It's so lightweight you can't even feel it on your face. Literally you can't and even if like some of it smudges off you can't tell that it's come off and it wears nicely throughout the day um, until it's like it's not fully there at the end of the day so say i wear this on about eight o'clock actually i wear this on about half seven and then i come home about seven o'clock so that's literally 12 hours isn't it and this is what it still looks like i touched up my concealer but this is look the foundation is still on my face um and it's it's just amazing lightweight foundation medium coverage i would say a solid medium and you get 30 mils of product and you still feel like you've got so much in here and it's so cheap as well you can get this for about six pounds if you do the two for 12 pound deal on superdrug which at the moment i believe they do have so pick this up it's an amazing everyday foundation perfect for dry skin perfect for oily skin and if you're more on the oily side you can just set it and it will it's it just looks great it just looks so natural if you look for everyday natural foundation this is your best bet okay next product is something i was so surprised about because in the beginning when i first tried it i didn't like it i've touched upon this in a favorites video as well it's this maybelline master fix setting and perfecting loose powder and i really really like this it's replaced my elf setting powder to me it doesn't take a lot to be impressed by a powder um because i just use it for setting my makeup and i want i don't want it to look like powder i just want it to set the foundation and concealer and this still gets the job done to me it's just as good as the elf high definition powder um i just couldn't get get um a hold of that anymore especially in that big square box i think they've changed the packaging but i don't know if i trust it enough to bite yet so i thought i'd try this one out it's probably about eight pounds eight or nine pounds this powder is again two for 12 pound deal do it and then you can get it like that such a finely milled soft powder perfect just it's just been something that has stood out to me last year it's so weird saying last year because literally last year was only a couple of days ago next up we have oh my god i have loved this beyond belief i've raved about it before again like literally these are products that i've raved about so much but drum roll it's this you know this you've seen this packaging before haven't you it's the Revolution Conceal and Define Super Size for Coverage Concealer. Well, this is a big one because the little one was just cutting it for me. There wasn't enough product in there. So if I were you, just get the big one because it lasts for ages. The little one seems to not last long enough. But I have this in my exact shade and it does perfectly under my eyes. It gets rid of a lot of my baggage I have under my eyes because it's pretty bad at the moment because I don't get enough sleep. But this concealer is my favourite I have bought the hydrating one and I need to do a test it 
a wear test so if you want to see that just let me know and I'll do it but this is this is such a perfect concealer it doesn't look cakey under the eyes it gives you a lot of coverage and it stays there like this lasts longer than the found, found that foundation I love this concealer um, I'm not too sure about the doe foot applicator because it's huge you literally have to wipe off the product because there's so much that comes off but it blends out nicely it does so well with powder as well it's just a fantastic concealer I'm so glad that I discovered it and I'm so glad that Revolution came out with this as well we have a product that I necessarily don't use every single day let me just get it out of my basket I knew I had it in here okay the next product is this and it was Safia Tasneem she's on Instagram I don't know if she does YouTube yet but she's on Instagram and she's a fabulous Instagrammer if you want to know up to date makeup to buy the best trends or like fantastic swatches and reviews you need to go to her Instagram account her name is Safia Tasneem and she recommended this to a lot of people and I was one of those people and it's the elf mixed to match adjuster and it's basically in this golden shade is it golden yeah this is in the go golden shade and this is perfect for you guys who are olive skin toned or who have like a yellow hue or even if you prefer that because the rest of my body is uh, has that yellow golden undertone that olivey undertone whereas my face is more on the pinkier side which drives me nuts because I can never match my foundations properly so if I have a foundation that's too much on the pinkier side or it's too light then I add a, the tiniest amount of this and it just adjusts that foundation into the perfect shade um, if you have olive undertones and golden undertones then you definitely should pick this up and they do have it in different shades so I, I believe they have a white adjuster and it's a darker adjuster as well I'm definitely going to pick it up when there is an offer on so and you get so much like I've probably only used like the tiniest amount of this and it lasts ages because you only need the tiniest amount the next product is this which completely surprised me because I bought it in a holiday gift set last year in December and I've tried benefit blushes before like I've had this palette I've tried first thing I ever tried was the hula bronzer um, I died no um, I think it was about two three years ago I died when I saw this and this was because I love the hula bronzer so much and this had the hula bronzer in there a full size of it and it had a bunch of their blushes and I was so excited to try it but sadly enough the bronzer was perfect but sadly enough the blushes were too light and I still use it now and I think to myself what happened because these blushes don't really show up on my skin so then I I felt a bit sad but then I saw this set on and it was so cheap last year and it had a mini of the California blush now this is what I'm wearing on my cheeks today and it is it is so pigmented it's not like those ones in that in that palette I don't know maybe there's a difference between like if you get like a lot of them in a palette then if you get them single but this has lasted me like ages I've probably only used it for a couple of months so I only just dug it out and it's fantastic it has the most amazing peachy coral undertone and it's pigmented and it shows up beautifully on your skin and gives you this really nice healthy glow to your face and healthy pink hue to your face and I just love it I love it you need to get this if you are medium skin toned and you love coral blushes that coral peachy blush then you need to pick this up it's beautiful and I, I haven't been able to put it down ever since I used it. I tried going back to using that palette and understanding why those those blushes don't work. If you know, let me know down below. But I'm so sad that they don't work. So in here we have the Dandelion, the Coralista, Rockato, Sugar Balm. And those are all the blushes in here and that didn't work for me. Whereas this one, the California one, I would happily pick it up in a full size. And I do feel like I'm just going to get the box blush in this. And I love the packaging as well. It's so pretty. I love the art on it it's beautiful when I first learned about this brand they were kind of um, promoting their skincare more um, I didn't realize that they had makeup but then when I did realize that they did I thought that the makeup was quite expensive 
but then I saw this and I did pick it up off of eBay and it was cheap it was cheap for me to get it off eBay it was about six seven pounds and it's this highlighter and I've been obsessed with the highlighters I need to stop <laughs> it's the pixie glowy gossamer duo in delicate dew and this is this shows up absolutely gorgeous I have it on my skin right now look at that glow but it gives you the most gorgeous glow like you can mix it together you can do it separately but I have it in the inner corners of my eyes as well it's that lovely um, and it's a beautiful beautiful highlight it's super pigmented and it, if you want a heavy glow if you want a beautiful strong glow without the patchiness or the powderiness or the texture then this is it this is what you need to get absolutely fantastic highlighter and I haven't been able to put it down ever since I bought it like the writing smudged off and I practically bought this new so definite definite highlighter if you're into highlighters that are blinding but like I like I said before they don't have that they're not grainy or stuff like that um, you can even get like a natural look using this highlighter as well it's beautiful you just need to pick it up it's like goddess glow from within <laughs> look at it all right, I've thrown my book on the floor though. I was so excited. The next item I want to share with you guys was a recommendation from the Beauty Breakdown, which is Morgan, and she does a lot of Korean skincare and Korean makeup videos. Um, and she recommended this product a while back, but I never actually um, ended up buying it back then. But then I recently watched the video again, and it made me want to pick it up because it was affordable. I do buy all of my Korean makeup and skincare off eBay, but I type in the country Korea, so I make sure I buy it from Korea. And these eyebrow pencils are amazing. I wanted to get the Shu Mura eyebrow pencil because I want to go for that natural look. This is what I'm wearing in my eyebrows today. It's the Drawing Eyebrow Hard Pencil from Etude House. And I have it in the shade Natural Brown 02. I have got it in the darkest shade, which is 01. Um, and that will give me like a much darker brow. But this one gives me more of a natural brow. And the thing I love about this the most is that it's not waxy. And it has just enough pigment where you don't end up getting like really thick strong brows this doesn't give you that this you can press on hard and it won't give you any harsh lines or harsh eyebrows that's what i'm trying to get out uh, and it's fantastic it's like a hard pencil and um it's just pigmented in the perfect way and it gives you the most natural brow stroke like i'm pressing on quite hard here so if you are a brow enthusiast but you struggle with your brows then pick this up because it's amazing you will get your eyebrows done so quickly and so naturally I love it the next item is hmm I didn't know whether I wanted to include this because a lot of people around the world would not be able to access these but if you live in the UK and you have a Primark store near you you need to pick up these nine pan eyeshadow palettes they are three pounds and they literally are a dupe for the Huda Beauty palette they're literally they're so handy for traveling as well they're so lightweight too they don't have a mirror which is the sad thing but for three pounds you get nine eyeshadows which are brilliant which are fantastically pigmented and it's what I have on my eyes today and what I use every single day this is the palette I bought first only because it said Amber on it <laughs> and my name's Ambreen um, Amber Passion and I loved that it has a lot had a lot of warm colours in there. You can tell I've I've made a lot of dents in this palette. I've been using it for ages and I love using it for school. The only eyeshadow I don't like is this one because it's a bit bitsy. It kind of gets in your eyes. I try and avoid that, so I'd rather use my highlighter instead. Um, the one that I use on my face, but this is fantastic. I literally put all of the warm shades, mix them together in my crease, and then I get all three of these shades and put them on my lid. <laughs> And it's so easy that's my eyeshadow look because i love using eyeshadow i know it's a thing that a lot of people skip because especially when they don't have time they're like no what's the point of eyeshadow but if i buy it i want to use it and the other palette is this completely neutral one this is the nude addiction palette and i really love the shimmery shades in this one especially this one in the middle that one's beautiful to me so i'll go in with that one even this one's so pretty as well and like this is fantastic for every day too they're just fantastic palettes and i'm hoping to get the other ones too i'm not interested in the smoky one i just want to get these neutral warm toned 
palettes and they're fantastic fantastic for traveling fantastic for on the go fantastic for work days just amazing and the cost is so amazing as well for the quality that you get okay we have three more products to go okay the next thing is this eyeliner so this is the best drugstore eyeliner i could find last year and jam beauty jam beauty what's her name what's her real real name i don't know i've forgotten but jam beauty recommended this eyeliner it's the renaissance flick from revolution and she said it's fantastic and i also believe the same is what i got my eyes today what i love about it the most is how easy it is to use and it's so pigment it's it's very pigmented um i wish it was a brush tip applicator instead of a felt tip applicator but other than that i have no complaints this gets the job done for me in the morning because i'm the gal that wears eyeliner because that's the thing that suits my eyes and it has such a nice sharp tip and it's just so easy to do your eyeliner and it always comes out black and pigmented and like you don't feel like you know when you have to like shake it and everything because you feel like there's not enough ink coming out or enough of the eyeliner coming out this doesn't do that this just comes out nicely and it doesn't dry out which i really really like about this the next thing again i wish you guys could access these things but they're primark lip liners Primark lip liners, girl, you need to go out and pick out every single shade from Primark, please. Please do me that. The one pound lip liners, the two pound lip liners, the one pound fifty lip liners, just pick them up because they are beautiful. I have the brown lip liner on and I've been obsessed with brown lips for such a long time now and I always wear it every single day. Don't care if it looks a bit dark, but today I'm wearing Fenty Gloss over it, but they're so creamy how can one pound primark lip liners be so good they're only a pound they last you a long time they're huge the lip liners are like this is the one i have this is one of them i have they always change the packaging which is so annoying because i can't tell you which shade it is but they always come out with the same shades all the time um this one is in valentine but i've had this shade in a different packaging and everything this is my tiniest tiniest one that i've nearly finished and this is exactly the same shade as well but the packaging is different um but the like the compartment of it the component of it is different but it's still the same and these are a pan and you need to get it you just need to forget about buying expensive lip liners and get the ones from primark because they're amazing they're creamy they apply nicely they're so pigmented and they stay on for ages especially if you want to wear it dry like if you weren't wearing a lipstick on top they last ages or if you weren't wearing a gloss on top they last ages get them if you can okay right last but not least the last item i have is a new discovery for me this year again because of jam beauty again because of tarty um they are essence come say it with me essence mascaras i have literally i bought these from wilco's you can get from wilco's if you are in the uk but if you're in the UK, you can access um, Essence in Wilco's. The Essence Lash Princess Volume Mascara. And then I have the Volume Stylist 18 Hour Mascara. This is in the purple tube and this one's in the... It has the orangey decoration on it. They have so many of these similar mascaras, but apparently some of them are not as good as others. Tati recommended these. I don't know if she recommended this one, but I know she definitely recommended this one in the purple tube. I've also bought the one in the pink tube, which I'm dying to try, but I have so many mascaras open. Like, I literally put my Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara away because I wanted to use these. There's so many mascaras that I've literally shoved to the side, which is so bad. I need to use them up just so I could use these. So what I've got on my lashes today, don't know if you can see, but they're fantastic they don't smudge they don't bleed down your face they don't it doesn't come off it doesn't flake off um, and it stays in place and it holds a curl and they're really nice volumizing mascaras they don't have like a really thick formula either and it's so easy to apply the only difference between these two is uh, what i like as well is that it has what i like the most about it is is that it's not a plastic wand and um it's like a bristle one 
and this one is more on the flatter side the purple one which I do like the most whereas this one I like as well but because it has like this curvature it kind of makes you smudge your mascara it's basically a bit more messier so I do prefer this purple one more but since mascara is three pounds I cannot fathom it at how amazing these mascaras are so there you go guys um, and I'm so sad 2019's over and I'm so excited to find more new makeup finds in 2020 if you have any recommendations leave me them down below if you have any secret makeup products that are affordable and amazing at the same time let me know down below because I'd love to check them out I'd love to know what your recommendations are especially if you love finding bargains let me know because I love a good bargain I think everybody does and I think everybody would appreciate it and I definitely would so guys I definitely appreciate you guys supporting me in 2019 and I hope that you guys will support me in 2020 thank you so much for just thank you so much for watching my videos and um, I hope you enjoyed this one as, and it was informative and you found any products that you really like if you want to ask me anything or want to know anything else just let me know down below leave me a comment message me you can find me on instagram as well and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this and i hope you guys all have a blessed 2020 like i said in my previous video if you haven't watched that already i will link it in the eye it was basically me cleaning my messy messy wardrobe so guys i'll see you guys in my next video bye